Thanks for registering with us. What's the next step? Well, you need to log in to Call Steward, our dispatch software. What does it do? How do I get a login? We're gonna send you a password reset to the email address that you provided when you registered with us. We prefer Gmail addresses, but you can use any email address. It's gonna go right here where it says email address. You can also sign in with Apple or what I do all the time is simply my Google credentials right here by pressing that button. That's pretty easy to remember. That's gonna bring you to this screen and you're just gonna click continue. Now we're gonna tap this hamburger menu up here in the corner, these three lines. The hamburger menu is gonna bring you to this menu and now we want you to tap my profile. The most important information should all already be here under your profile, name, email address, and phone number. But we really encourage you to add a profile picture here. Okay, now that that's done, hit save, come back here to the hamburger menu and tap on the calendar right here. The calendar is going to appear like this and it's gonna show you all of the upcoming events I switched to October and I happen to be available on Friday, October 13th. So I'm going to click this event right here called CSO Pops. I'll show you what happens next. Okay, since I happen to be available on both October 13th and 14th, I am interested in this job. I'm going to actually tap Wished right here. If I was not interested in or not available in this job, I would tap Ignored right here. But I've tapped Wish. So by doing so, I'm adding this job to my wish list. That doesn't mean that I'm necessarily going to get this job, but it lets the dispatcher know that you're available and interested in this job. Now that I've added jobs to my wish list, I'm going to come back out here to the main menu. And that's the hamburger menu. It brings this menu up and I'm going to actually tap wish list. Boom. Like that. It's going to bring me to a list of all the scheduled jobs that I was just looking at on the calendar. These aren't the jobs I've wished. They're the jobs that are on the schedule that we need people for. If I want to look at my actual wished jobs, I'm going to click wished jobs. Now that's going to show me all of the jobs that via the wish list I have indicated that I'm available for. And likewise, if I go over here and tap Ignore Jobs, this shows me the jobs that I have ignored. Now I'm looking at my wish list again, and now I'm looking at all of the scheduled jobs again.